It is the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. KNT Netball getting to the business end of its competition now. We had uh, semi final weekend last weekend, preliminary finals coming up on Saturday in Kingston. And uh, Sally from KNT Netball is on the line to help us go through all of that. How are you, Sally? I'm very well, thank you. Excellent. Uh, Let's have a look back to semi-final action from last weekend. And we started on Saturday with what was the second semi-final. So um, the winner, I believe, um, marching on. And uh, Keith took on Panola. How did that that go? Yeah, so correct. We probably thought this would be a great game and it lived up to all expectations. So, yeah, Keith 37 defeating Panola 34. So a nice tight game there to put Keith into the grand final for, oh, goodness knows how many years in a row. But, yeah, they've obviously been there for a while. But, yeah, they were up most of the game. But, yeah, we, but you know, low-scoring affair, very defensive out there. But, yeah, great game by Keith to get them through and Panola to a second chance this weekend. Interesting conditions too. Bit of rain around, so uh, no no wonder for the, the low scoring side of things. That's exactly right. Yeah, we. Oh, I think we have all seasons in one day for both our days last week. So mm. some people got some good weather, some people didn't. But I think the results showed that most of them being low scoring. But mm. yeah, it's obviously the pressure and the nerves and everything else on top of it. Yep, spot on. Um, and then on the Sunday, we had the elimination semifinals or the first semifinals, if you want to be a purist about it. <laughs> um, and it was Border Districts, unfortunately for them, crashing out in straight sets. So Lucendale, we thought this might happen. Uh, obviously, mm. Border's a bit restricted by um, who could play and who couldn't. But Lucendale, uh, they've just been there and thereabouts all year, and they won this game by four goals. They did. We were probably a bit disappointing for Borders to end their season this way, I think, because they were in that top two most of the season. So to go out in straight sets isn't bad. But, yeah, Lucendale's 32 to 28. So, again, another very low-scoring game. But this one started in wet conditions, and it was just a really hard-fought game. And, you know, it was only 16 to 11 at half time. So... Not much scoring going on that board, but board has made some changes and that really got them back up to within two within three quarter time. But yeah, just listen, I'll finishing off well and taking the win and yeah, trying to march on for their four in a row. I think it is grand final appearances. They certainly know uh, what uh, <laughs> finals are all about. So into a, a preliminary final, Lucendale, and uh, let's have a look at those preliminary finals now. So uh, at Kingston, preliminary finals and uh, the juniors will get us underway. We've got Plenty of grades to have a look at here. So let's start with the Litlands, the 13 and unders. Uh, Kingston, uh, on their home deck, will be taking on Border Districts. They will be, and they actually lost their first game for the season last week against a very determined Mandala side. So they've had a great season up till that little blip in their go. So I think they'll get the win here and, yeah, do it quite well against Border and make um, the grand final appearance for those young St. Girls. All right, the 15 and unders will be Kingston again, taking on Padthaway. Yeah, and they've obviously... I think there's quite a few girls that play in this team as well. So I think they'll probably come in the favourites in this one. Padaway came from behind last week to get the win. But it'd be great to see Padaway in a grand final, but I think she's going to be too strong. All right. Uh, the juniors, Division 1, Division 2. Now, this is 17 and under age bracket. Is that right? It is, yeah. Pretty open. So, yep. So, yep. yeah, Div 2, yeah. So, Div 2 boy district playing Keith in this game. So, they met a couple of weeks ago in the qualifying final. There's only three goals in it. I reckon, um, yeah, Borders is playing some good netball, but so as are Keith. So I think Borders will get the win in this one and march on through to the grand final. Right. And, and then in the Division 1. Yes, Keith taking on Panola. This should be interesting too. I really think this is great. I think our Division 1 comp this season has been fantastic and they bring lots of goals on the board no matter what the weather conditions, I think. So I think, you know, they're 50, 60 goals every final game. So there'll be lots and lots of talent. And obviously, the match of the game, um, the day this week. So... And, you know, they've won win, one win each apiece. So, hey, I'm going to go for Keith in a close one. Okay. That takes us through to the seniors. Uh, we'll have a look at C grade first. Panola taking on Mandala. Yeah, this will be another good game. They met a couple of weeks ago at Keith in the qualifying final and Panola just got the win there by five goals. Um, both teams played quite well last week. I just think on oh, on the day, I think it could be anyone's game and I'll pick Panola in a close one here. Okay. From this point on, B grade, A reserves and A grade, it's uh, the Lucendale show. They'll be in all three. Uh, in the B grade, they're taking on Keith. They are, and I think Lucendale, I'm thinking, looking in form this year. I think they've looked quite good come the later end of the season, and Keith have been a power horse in this grade for yeah, years and years, so I'm, I'm putting a tip for close one to Lucendale to stop Keith's run. Okay. Um, in the A resis, Narracourt taking on Lucendale. 
Yeah, so as, as I keep um, loosening down the B grade, I better go for Narracourt in this one. I think it'll be a great game. They've um, yeah, had some great battles over the year, and I just think Lucendale just played some great finals netball, but, yeah, Narracourt is a close one here. Okay. And then uh, the main event, uh, A-grade preliminary final, Panola taking on Lucendale. Had not much in it between these two sides. This should be a beauty. Oh, I think this will be a great game, and there will be just great matchups all over the court in this game. They've only met once this year in round seven, and, yeah, Panola got the win by eight goals there, but as we know, Lucendale is final well they're just fantastic come finals time Panola haven't made a grand final in this grade for a long time and they'll be really wanting to get that team through oh, let's go for I'll sit on the fence but yeah Panola just to stop so loose and they'll have a different um, grand final winner this year okay well it should be interesting <laughs> uh, big day at Kingston on Saturday preliminary final day uh, Sally anything else as we wrap it up yeah and then on Sunday we're going to be heading to Mandala for our presentation day so yes. Yeah, good luck to everyone there, and we can't wait to yeah, cap off our season with some good winners of our best and fairest and runner-ups and everything else, just acknowledging everyone for a great 2021 and getting the season going, and hopefully two weeks to go we'll get through. Fingers crossed. Who do you <laughs> like for the A-grade uh, best and fairest? Oh, this is a really open race. I, I think there's been some great netballers in our A-grade competition this year, just going through a few of the teams. Uh, so you've got your keys, I think Danielle Van Calken, she's the goal shooter at Keith. She's had a great season. Um, from Panola, April Possingham's played really well this year, and Maddie Teekle at goalkeeper. So I think there's some good runners. Um, even down to Narracourt, we've got Sophie Henschke. She's been up in the A grade for years, young player there. I think she'll have a, a good go as well. And and then at Lucendale, Mill Gear's just been phenomenal this year, and Ella Jones in the centre. So out of those five or six, I think one of them will be a winner. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good rundown. Good luck to everyone hitting the court at Kingston on Saturday and to those heading to the medal count on Sunday. And Sally, will catch up with you again next week. Yep. Sounds great. Thank you.